Welcome, and congratulations on choosing Verizon Fios. You're just a few quick connections away from a home entertainment experience like no other. Verizon Fios is delivered on our superior 100% fiber optic network. Whether you're setting up Fios Internet, TV, phone, or all three, you'll be up and running in no time. Get ready to be amazed. The package you received from Verizon will include some or all of the following components, depending on what services you ordered. It's important to note that if you are installing two services, you always set up your internet before you set up your TV. And if installing TV only, make sure you set up your router first. If at any time during the installation you find yourself needing additional support, log on to fioshelp.verizon.com or call 1-855-372-2181. We begin the installation process by setting up your Fios router. When selecting the best location for your router, it's important to make sure it's near a coax cable connector. If you plan on always using an Ethernet connection between your router and PC, be sure to find a convenient location where the Ethernet wire can easily reach your PC. If you're using a wireless Wi-Fi connection, a central location for the router will ensure wider wireless coverage. After you find the perfect location, our first step is to connect one end of the coax cable to the red coax port on the back of the router and the other end into a Fios wall outlet. If your coax connection does not have an outlet, use the cable barrel connector you received to connect the two coax ends. Your next step is to plug the black power cord into the black port on the back of the router, then into a power outlet. Now simply turn the Fios router on. It may take a few moments, but both the power light and the one coax light on the front of the router should be glowing solid green to indicate that it's working properly. It's time to connect your internet router and PCs in order to get internet service. If you're only installing TV service at this time, feel free to skip ahead to the TV setup chapter of this video. Your first step is to find the yellow Ethernet cable that came in your package and plug it into any of the four yellow Ethernet ports on the back of the Fios router. Now, make sure the computer is turned on. Then plug the other end of the yellow Ethernet cable into an Ethernet port on the computer. The Ethernet port looks similar to a traditional telephone jack, but slightly larger. It's important to note that even if you intend to connect all your PCs wirelessly, you should temporarily connect your PC with a wired Ethernet cable. Once your network is configured, you can set up your wireless connection. Make sure at least one of the Ethernet LAN lights on the front of the Fios router is either solid or flashing green. This may take a few minutes. Now that you have your router hooked up properly, it's time to activate your internet service. Be sure to have your order number available, as you will need it for this process. Let's start by opening an internet browser. If you're not automatically directed to activate myfios.verizon.net, please go there now. To set up your account, select your user ID and password for your account and email access. If you already have done this earlier, simply move on to the next step. Select Configure Your Computer for Verizon Fios Internet Service and download the software to manage your internet connection and product downloads. When you see the Activation Complete message, you're ready to explore Fios Internet. This section will teach you how to connect to your router from your wireless devices. On your Fios router, you'll see a label that lists the router's ESS ID and WPA2 key. Write this information down exactly as it appears. Now, launch your computer's wireless application. Simply look for your ESS ID in the list of wireless networks. Select it and click Connect. When you are prompted to enter a network key, enter your WPA2 key and click Connect. This key is case sensitive, so it's important to make sure you enter it exactly as it appears on your router's wireless label. To verify your settings were enabled properly, visit verizon.com forward slash connect. 
It's time to set up your TV service. It's important to note that your Fios router must be installed and working properly before you can set up the TV service. If you haven't done that yet, please make sure you go back and do it now. When installing your TV service, you must have your HD DVR set-top box, coaxial cable, color-coded cables, and HDMI cable. The HDMI cable is optional and is not included in the Fios equipment box. Once you have everything you need, make sure your Fios router and HDTV are turned on. Start by connecting the coax cable from the Fios TV wall outlet to the RF in or Fios TV in input on the back of the set-top box. If you are connecting your TV at the same location of your router and need an additional Fios wall outlet, you will need to install a two-way splitter that can be seen here. If you need detailed instructions on how to install the two-way splitter, please reference page 7 of the installation guide. Now that you have the coaxial cable installed, connect the color-coded cables from the matching ports on the back of your set-top box to the matching ports on your TV. If your HDTV does not have color-coded audio connection ports, you can substitute an HDMI cable for these wires or visit verizon.com forward slash Fios wiring for alternate wiring options. This site is also helpful in showing you how to install other equipment you might have as well. Simply plug one end of the power cord into the set-top box and the other end into a power outlet and let the activation process begin. The activation process should have started automatically and is visible on the TV screen. This process takes about 15 minutes, so once the activation is underway, it's safe to start setting up your other TVs. It's also a good idea to use this time to install the batteries into your Fios remote control. During the activation process, you'll see a status screen appear on your TV. Your TV and set-top box will also turn on and off automatically throughout the process. Once the activation is complete, you will see this screen on your TV. Once the screen appears, press Exit using your Fios TV remote control. Congratulations! Your HD TV set-top box is activated. Go ahead and program your remote control with the instructions that came with it. Also, be sure to check that you are receiving all the channels you ordered. The DVD that came in your self-install package is a great way to learn about how to use all the features of your Fios TV and Internet. If at any time you have problems, or if for some reason the activation failed, visit fioshelp.verizon.com or call 1-855-372-2181. If you're connecting to a standard definition TV, this is the right place for you to be. Begin by making sure your Fios router and your TV is turned on, and your TV is tuned to channel 3. If you haven't installed your router yet, it's important to go back and do that now. Find the remote control that came with your set-top box and insert the batteries now. Your remote is already programmed to operate the box and later on we'll program your remote control to operate your TV. Now, connect the coax cable from the Fios TV wall outlet to the RF in or Fios TV in input on the back of the set-top box. If you are connecting your TV at the same location of your router and need an additional Fios wall outlet, you'll need to install a two-way splitter that can be seen here. If you need detailed instructions on how to install the two-way splitter, please reference page 7 of the installation guide. Now that you have the coaxial cable installed, connect the second coaxial cable to the TV VCR output on the back of the set-top box and install the other end into the antenna or cable input on the back of your TV. If you need alternate wiring instructions, visit verizon.com forward slash Fios wiring. Now, simply plug one end of the power cord into the set-top box and the other end into a power outlet. The activation process should have started automatically and is visible on the TV screen. 
This process takes about 15 minutes, so once the activation is underway, it's safe to start setting up your other TVs. To confirm the activation process is working properly, a status screen that looks like this should appear on your TV. Your set-top box will also turn on and off automatically throughout the process. If for some reason you don't see a TV picture after a few minutes of starting the activation process, make sure the cables are properly connected and your TV is turned to channel 3. If the process fails, the screen may prompt you on how to troubleshoot. But if you don't see any screen activity for more than 15 minutes, try unplugging the box, wait 15 minutes, plug it back in, and repeat the activation process. If at any time you're still having problems or need additional help, visit fioshelp.verizon.com or call 1-855-372-2181. When the activation process is complete, you should see this screen on your TV. Once this screen appears, press Exit using your Fios TV remote control. Congratulations! Your set-top box is activated. Now go ahead and program your remote control with the instructions that came with it. Once that's done, be sure to check that you're receiving all the channels you ordered. This CD also contains the Fios Self-Installation Wizard software. Please install and use it for step-by-step -step guidance of the self-installation process. If you ordered a digital adapter, this section will show you everything you need to know about hooking it up. Start by connecting the coax cable from the Fios TV wall outlet to the RF in or the Fios TV in input on the back of the digital adapter. Now connect the second coax cable to the TV VCR output on the back of the digital adapter and connect the other end of the cable into the antenna, cable or AV input on the back of the TV. Finally, plug one end of the power cord into the digital adapter and then the other end into a power outlet. It's important to note that if you are activating more than one digital adapter, you should plug in all your adapters prior to activation. Let's start by inserting batteries into your Fios TV remote control. Turn on the digital adapter by pressing the Set Top Box button on the Fios TV remote control. The yellow light on the front of the digital adapter should be illuminated when the adapter is powered on. Once the digital adapter is on, turn your TV on and tune to channel 3. To complete activation, call the Verizon Support Center at 1-855-372-2181 and be sure to have your digital adapter's serial numbers handy. Your digital adapters will automatically turn off once activation is done. Using your Fios remote control, turn the digital adapter back on. By following the directions that came with your Fios remote control, go ahead and program the remote so that it can control your TV. If you plan on using a cable card, be sure to read through all the instructions for your cable card ready device and complete any setup it requires. If you're connecting to a personal digital video recorder, follow these three steps. Connect the coaxial cable from the recorder to a live Fios TV wall outlet or splitter. Connect the color-coded cable to the TV VCR output on the back of the TV. Now, slide the cable card into your recorder. If you're connecting directly to a cable card ready TV, Connect the coaxial cable from the TV to a live Fios wall outlet. Remove the cable card from the clear protective cover and put the card directly into the cable card slot on the back of the TV. Once the cable card is inserted, you'll see a pairing screen with this information. Follow the on-screen instructions to set up the card. If you don't see the pairing screen on your TV, make sure the TV is on the correct input setting. Write down the information shown on your TV screen for each cable card. You will be asked to provide these numbers during activation. Locate your activation code in the welcome letter you received. If you ordered multiple cable cards, you should have received one letter for each card. To activate your cable card or cards, choose one of the following three options. 
Visit verizon.com slash Fios TV slash self install. Call 1 888 897 7499 or use the in home agent desktop solutions tool, which can be downloaded at verizon.com slash in home agent. Your phone service should already be available at any of the telephone jacks in your home. Simply plug the cord from your phone into any existing telephone wall jack. If you're using a cordless phone, make sure that the base station is powered and the handset is fully charged. Fios requires the use of 10-digit dialing for local calls. That means you must enter the area code and a 7-digit telephone number to make local calls. If you have a home security system, it's important to contact your provider to make sure your alarm system is programmed for 10-digit phone notification. To set up your voicemail, call 1-888-2-FIOS-VM and follow the prompts. If you need additional support, visit verizon.com slash Fios Voice. Verizon In-Home Agent is a free 24-7 help and support tool for your TV, PC, and phone that provides you with fast, easy help at the click of your mouse or remote. The in-home agent icon looks like this and should already be downloaded onto your computer. If it doesn't automatically appear on your desktop, download it free at verizon.com slash in-home agent. You can also access in-home agent on your TV using your Fios remote control. Click Menu, click Help, then click In-home agent. From the website, you can click on any of the following options. Reboot Set-Top Box, Network Diagnostics, or Program Remote. In-Home Agent can answer and solve most troubleshooting issues. It can also help with the installation and setup of new devices. Congratulations! You've completed the installation of your Verizon Fios services. Now, sit back and enjoy everything Verizon Fios has to offer. And get ready to be amazed. Verizon Fios. A network ahead.